Hello everyone, I'm your girl Melody Trice and you are truly living life unlimited? Well I am and my next guest they are living life unlimited. They took their childhood dreams and made it into their reality. So you guys you definitely got to stay tuned because we'll be right back after this break. When I was in high school, I was physically at school, but my mind wasn't at school. I had problems at home, and that's hard when you feel like you're doing it alone. That's when I met Narnis, my mom, as I call her. She started helping me a little bit, like, Nia, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but your future is more important. She's my strength. Just being a support for those hard days and those hard nights is not giving up on me. Thank you to my mama. I wouldn't have did this if it wasn't for her. Today is for my mama and everybody who had my back. It takes a village to help somebody get their diploma. Some people would think, well, maybe it's really not that big of a deal, but it really is. It changes your whole life. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back. Well, you know, we're all about living life unlimited. Well, my next guest, he's not only an actor, but he's a producer, and we want to welcome to the show. Welcome, James Jerdy. All right. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing How's great. Yes. I appreciate having me on. Well, look, one of the things I want to talk about is this movie that you not only produced, but you also starred in. Right. Danger One. Danger One. Yeah. So, look, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you just really came up with the concept. I mean, you're young, you're you're fruitful, and just the fact of not just producing it, but starring in it. Yeah, no, I mean, it was a great script. Uh, a great team brought it to me, and I knew that we wanted to get involved with it. It's a fantastic story about a couple of paramedics who get a 911 call. They've come across a dead body and a million dollars on the dead body. Oh, my God! Right, and then they decide to keep it, of course, and everything goes wrong from there. It's all set in one night, and it's just a lot of action, some good comedy, some really good chase scenes, and I, I honestly think it'll entertain a large audience. Let's take a look right now. All available units, single vehicle crash, injuries reported. Let's rock and roll. Get that money, 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 money. How bad is it? Puncture wound just below the ribs. Blood pressure dropping quick. What? Homeboy somehow jammed a million dollars in here. Just let the hospital deal with it. Let's just imagine. Let's say we don't turn it in. And we just keep it. I'm, I'm not hearing this. Who does this money belong to? Hi. Drug cartel? Maybe. Hello. Anyone that was involved in this is gonna walk away, man. Awesome. What about the cops there? Please! And hands up! Max and I, we got this in. Ah! Let's play it three ways and we don't tell anybody. <laughs> This. this is all you. Ah, ah, yes. know what I like. Ah. This. Look at oh. You know that old saying, don't look a gift horse in the mouth? <laughs> when someone gives you a nice gift, you don't act like a little bitch. Someone's following us. I think it's him? Oh. 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 Yeah, it's him. Maybe we need to get rid of him. He's my best friend. What you gonna do? Oh. Where's the money? I want my money! Now you can ride the ambulance. So you guys, I know you enjoy that. So look, I want everybody else to be able to watch this. So yeah. when do it come out? Yeah, the movie comes out nationwide September 14th. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, we are really excited about it. It's going to have a great rollout. It's going to be um, theaters nationwide. Then it's going to all digital platforms. And uh, we really think that people are going to like it. Well, I'm already loving it because the trailer <laughs> shows itself, right? Oh, yeah. It's got action. It's got comedy. It's got everything. And that's one thing about that is when you watch a movie and you can just really relate to it mm -hmm. and it makes you laugh and make right. you like in and suspense, it's, it's what you want to watch. It's one of those real world situation movies as well as an action movie because you come out asking what would you do if you were in that situation, wow. you know? So it's a lot of fun. I keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> I keep the money. Well, you got 
gotta wait. We gotta watch and see what happens then. <laughs> well, and one thing about it too, I know you recently, you know, you you played on Bold and the Beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. Night Shift. I mean, yeah. Miro's Place. I mean, just being a part of so many great things. I mean, yeah, that was where I got my start. You know, I was doing the little stuff there, the extra stuff, just trying to get into the unions, just trying to, you know, trying to get the foot in the door in those days. But it was a lot of fun. I mean, that's where you learn. That's where you make all your mistakes. Yeah, and then yeah. also too, seeing your team come together, making right. this film happen. I mean, what are some of your views on, on just teamwork? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, you, you can't do it alone in this business, you know, you have to have a lot of people behind you and you have to have the right team that can help you realize the right vision and um, over the past three films that we've made, I'm very fortunate to have met a lot of people who are so talented and just help really bring up what we wanted to do in the beginning, you know, it's amazing to have something on the page and then see it as we just saw it right there on the screen and a lot of people who are, you know, do credit for that. Well, look, I definitely want everyone to just continue to follow you and, and oh, able to, you. you know, not just follow you, but, you know, go watch this movie. So give them the dates again. Oh, give yeah, them your no, social com media. It comes out nationwide uh, September 14th. It's called Danger One. And uh, it's going to be on Instagram, social media, everything. You know, I'm James Yurdy at Instagram. I'll be posting all about it. So just can't wait. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate oh, it. Oh, I appreciate you having me. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Look, you guys, stay tuned because after this break, we'll be right back. I was 0.5 credits away from completing high school and I didn't do it. My support team never stopped pushing for me to be better because they knew who I could become as a person. I've been given an opportunity and I'm just thankful for it. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back. Well, I know you guys have went out and watched Equalizer 2. Well, I have a special guest today. He is one of the actual villains on that movie. So I want you guys to welcome Kazi Toganus to the show. Come on, Kazi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for having oh, me. Oh, it's an honor. It's an honor. Well, one of the things about it, I mean, being on Equalizer 2, that is amazing. So what did it feel like to be on that movie? Wow. It was, uh, for me, it was a life-changing experience. Wow. Uh, being able to work with with um, legends in the industry, it's there's nothing like it. That's what you aspire to as an actor. Exactly, because I mean, Denzel, so many more that you can just say, okay, these are pretty much my idols that I've watched. A hundred percent. And you 100%. have worked beside them. Yeah. So I mean, you know, what was one of those greatest moments in that film that you could say, yes, this is it. Wow. So there's there's two that really stick out in my mind. The the first moment is when Denzel and I showed up to face off, and that quote from American Gangster kept <laughs> going through my head. You're either gonna be uh, you're either somebody or you're nobody. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking across from him, and we're gonna face off. We're gonna do our thing. And I was like, now it's time to be somebody. Wow. You know, because there was the man. And uh, another another one of my like most fond moments of being on set was working with Antoine Fuqua, um, and there was a moment, a really, really intense moment at the end of the at the end of the film where where I ad libbed a bunch of lines, and you know they stayed on, they yelled cut, and Antoine jumped out of the van, ran over to me, grabbed me by my shirt, and he was like, "That's what I'm talking about." <laughs> wow. And and for me, that was just that just reaffirmed everything that I've been working towards wow. for the last nine years. Wow. Just knowing that someone at that level felt that strongly about my work. Wow, yeah. that's growth. Yeah. That's like, I mean, that is like truly growth and congratulations. No, thank you. Because that is a huge success. And I mean, so many actors out there would love to be in such a great position to work along those type of giants. And that movie's like big right now. Mm -hmm. Number one movie in America. Okay, yeah. and you are a part of it. Yes. Oh my yes. God, he's on the Nelly <laughs> Trice show, okay. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. So, you know, I mean, what, what were some of the preparations that you did to actually get prepared for those roles? Mm, well, this, this film was very stunt heavy and uh, you know automatic weapons and whatnot which I have zero background in so I worked with the stunt team extensively uh, Jeff Dashnall was the stunt coordinator and he put together an incredible team uh, and I, I just I call I asked to have as many rehearsals as possible because in my mind 
because I'm working at this level and because I know there's a line of a million people who would want to be in the position that I'm in, I had to be the best be the best me that I could possibly wow. be. So I, I wanted to just rehearse until everything became second nature to me. Wow. And that's big because one of the things about it is, is the thing that you said that stood out was that because you knew what could be and what couldn't be, meaning the people behind you and the people you're working with, yeah. you became the best version of you. Yes. Because a lot of times people in this business don't know what that version of them is. So at what point in your life did you realize who you were? Well, my, my life-changing event came um, in 2008. I used to own a 24-hour diner. Mm. And when my lease was up, unfortunately, we couldn't negotiate a lease and I had to close the place down. Wow. And that forced me to a fork in the road. Was I gonna go corporate? Was I gonna try to get a nine to five? Or was I really gonna go for my true dream, which was to pursue acting? Wow. And I came to that fork and we went for acting. So Kaz, you've been doing a lot of amazing things. So I want everyone to be able to take a look. So you guys, let's take a look. Lupus is an autoimmune disease wherein the body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissue and organs. Um, it causes inflammation, extreme exhaustion, pain. Um, it is more common among women, but uh, men do get it as well. Okay. So, what's the good news? Well, your case is mild. So I can still box? Well, no, you can't. Um, you can exercise, but any kind of serious exertion could cause a flare. It would be 10 times worse than what you experienced last week. Um, it could even be fatal. How do we get rid of it? You don't. Wow, that was amazing. I mean, you know, in that film, Standing Aid, I mean, really, I mean, it's, it has a lot of different things in it. So tell us a little bit about the concept in it and just you, your performance. Okay. Uh well, Standing Eight is about a professional boxer who gets diagnosed with systemic lupus, and that's the, the clip that you just saw when he finds out about his diagnosis. Um, the film, the reason I used lupus as a, uh, a plot device in the movie is because my mother actually has systemic lupus and mm. has been fighting it for my entire life. And I, I also used to box when I was younger, and I came to a point where I wanted to produce my own content. Uh, and I decided to take those two aspects of my life and combine them. Wow. And we, we came up, my production team and I came up with this story and I wrote the first draft and we were off to the races. Wow, that's amazing. Because literally, you know, life stories, life happening, actually is the stories that we tell. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a big part of, of, of actors' life is to give back. So, is it an organization that you give back to? Because I, I noticed you be wearing a pin sometimes. Yes, yes, I, when I was on the red carpet for Equalizer, I wore a, a lupus pin. And I felt that that would be a very appropriate venue to make a statement and help raise awareness because millions of people across the globe have that disease, yet most people that you speak to don't even know what it does. And in case any of your viewers don't know, lupus is a disease where the, uh, the immune system attacks healthy body and tissue, mm -hmm. like healthy tissues, organs. Um, so it can, be, it can be fatal. Wow. Uh, so I just, as a standing eight, was, was a, my opportunity to, uh, to raise awareness for the disease that not only affected my mother, but affect millions of people across the globe. Yeah, because that's, I mean, the truth be told, it is something that is relevant in a lot of people's life. Mm -hmm. And you know, and if you don't know about something, you really don't know how to react to it. Right. You know, right. the reaction that people give people when they say, okay, this is wrong with me, this is that, but it's not that way. You need to really study up on it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and uh, we've recently decided to partner with the Lupus Foundation of America, okay. which is a huge advocacy, uh, advocacy group for lupus. Uh, we're going to work with them to promote the film and release it on Amazon as a streaming platform. Yeah. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Well, I definitely want everyone to continue to stay following you on all your social media. And, you know, also, you know, follow your journey. So can you let them know how they can follow Sure, you? absolutely. You can follow me on Instagram, at Kazi Toganas. That's K-A-Z-Y-T-A-U-G-I-N-A-S. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I mean, I want you guys to just continue to follow him on all his social media. I mean, 
go watch Equalizer 2 if you haven't watched it, right? Watch it over and over and over <laughs> again, right? I love it. I love it. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because we'll have more after this break. Did you hear about the pony with a sore throat? He was a little horse. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why couldn't the pelican? Wait. Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. Where did cats go on vacation? New York. <laughs> Who said that? The lady at the store. That is not a compliment. Listen, it's an ugly, nasty word, and you are going to hear it. Nothing I can do about that. But you are not going to let that word hurt you. You hear me? There are some people who think you don't deserve the same privileges just because of what you look like. It's not fair. It's not. Remember, you can do anything they can. The difference is you gotta work twice as hard and be twice as smart. Come straight home after practice. You got your ID? Yeah. Guess I stop you. How's your review? We're good. You good? Yeah. You see? We're good. Okay. Good. Now, when you get pulled over, um, I'm a good driver. Okay. Baby, don't worry. This is not about you getting a ticket. This is about you not coming home. I'm gonna be okay. Right? Okay, okay baby. It's not fair. But you keep showing up. You are not pretty for a black girl. You are beautiful, period. Okay? Don't ever forget that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Well, I know you've been watching this episode, and it has been so amazing, but guess what? I have an amazing guest, and I want to welcome her to the show. Come on down, Hannah Noka. How you doing? Thank you. I'm doing very good, and I'm having already a melody blessed. I know it, right? Absolutely. Well, I love seeing women making it happen in this entertainment industry. You are an actress, model, and also a filmmaker. Girl, yes. how do you do all of that? Well, female empowerment, we can yes. do so much more. We can do so much. Yes. We got that power in us. Inside of us. And, you know, one of the things about it, you guys, you hear that accent, right? She's not originally <laughs> from America. So let's talk about where you're originally from. Well, I'm from Kosovo. It's a little country, but we got really big hearts and big love for America. Wow. And I know, you know, right now America is like so in love with your country right now. <laughs> well, yeah, we do have that uh, love affair with each other. It's just because my new country, America, helped my country of origin, Kosovo, during the 1999 Kosovo War. And, uh, you know, we have actually a street called Bill Clinton Boulevard. Really? And we do have it in a city center, a big statue of President Clinton. Wow. And then I went to Little Rock, Arkansas, to his library. And, you know, it just... Our appreciation for everything and how America has helped us. Wow. And uh, one more important thing is that we celebrate 4th of July as well. Really? We do have parties. We oh, do yay. have Thank You USA and all that. That's amazing. Yeah. And now that we're talking about all that, I brought you a small present <gasps> oh my to God. continue this love relationship. <laughs> oh, I love gifts, y'all. <laughs> it's a silver, it's a double eagled flag. It represents Albanians, it's our flag, and this is, <laughs> this is how we do it. Next time you meet an Albanian, you oh, do that. Wow. 
that's amazing. <laughs> oh, she had to make me cry. No, I'm that's just so happy beautiful. I'm here. And this is just to continue that love. That's that's exactly why we are both in love with Absolutely. each other's country. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing because, you know, a lot of people don't know the history behind the relationships with Absolutely. America and other countries. Exactly. Because yeah. we're really for each other. Absolutely. And forever grateful. Yes. You know, well, it's I, I know you're working on some stuff and you just recently did a film. So let's talk about, you know, the film you just recently did. I'm going to hold on to this, you know. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I do. Um, so, well, I got nominated. Uh, me and my husband were executive producers. It's, uh, okay, first of all, it's a short film, wow. fashion film. It's a minute and 17 seconds. Wow. It's short, but it tells a lot. And um, I got nominated for three categories in La Jolla International Fashion Film Festival. And um, that's it's basically big. my love letter to the fashion industry because wow. it has, of course, helped me to open so many doors for me and launch my career in modeling and acting and wow. uh, doing what I like to do now. And uh, I'm wearing uh, all red in the film mm. and I hope you're gonna like it. And, um, uh, and I'm accessorized with a red cape. Wow. And that tells about, of course, power and female empowerment and uh, all about fashion is that all who you are, what you are, and how you feel on the inside. Wow, and that, that's really like so big because a lot of people really do define who they are by what yeah, they wear. Absolutely. You know, and it really creates fashion. this aura of who you are. Exactly. You can wear like high low fashion or you can wear it for different kind of statements, you know, political or how you feel that day or, you know, fashion, it's, it's in different ways and how you feel. And wow. as long as you feel inside and, you know, that's all that matters. Look at you. We, me and you are matching. <laughs> We're back. And it wasn't planned, right? It wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. Well, it was planned somewhere, but it was Somewhere, wasn't but yes, yeah, somewhere yeah, was. Yes, somewhere, right? <laughs> well, look, I want everyone to take a look at this clip, you guys, okay? So let's take a look. Sure. Let's take a look right now, you guys. Well, thank you so much. I have so much more in me to, you know, bring up, but wow. slowly and surely. Because, you know, one of the things about it is being here in L.A., I mean, you really have no limits to what you really can do. Well, I was just going to say that, you know, it's basically an American dream. Yeah. Because over here, my voice is unlimited. Opportunities are unlimited. Yeah. And, you know, I'm actually getting, you know, <laughs> know right? feeling so emotional about that because so many people dream to come here. And I'm so blessed to be here and do what I really like. And I've set my goals and never give wow. up. And... We're here and look at it. Wow, so what would you say, because I'm sure a lot of people from your hometown look up to you and they see you as like, okay, if she did it, then I can do it too, like Absolutely. a dream come true. So what would you say to those little girls back there? What, what encouraging words would you give them? Basically, just follow your dreams. And so many people can tell you, no, don't do it. It's gonna cost a lot or there's no chance. So many people, no, I believe everyone is unique. Everyone has their own story and everyone just, you know, you can be your own voice and, you know, if one door doesn't open, there is a window, there is another door and there's so much more that you can do and you can show to the world and just go for it, whether if it's LA or anywhere you want, but right. your dream is your dream. Well, look, I want everyone to continue to follow you on Thank all you. your social media and, you know, and take a look at the stuff you're working on. Yes. I mean, because, girl, this journey, we want to go on this roller coaster with you, okay? Oh, my God. Thank <laughs> you. It means a lot. And, yes. You know, absolutely. Actually, my hashtag is livinglavidanoka. 
Wow. Because, you know, Living La Vida Loca yeah. from Ricky Martin, it just rhymed very good yes. with my last name. It does. And so, you know, just follow me on Instagram, Hannah Noka, and the hashtag Living La Vida Noka. I'm going to show you everything, what's real, when you don't get an audition, when you get an audition, and being with wonderful people like Melody oh. and having a blast. A blast. <laughs> okay, right. I love it. I love it. I love it. But thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank continue you. to live your life unlimited. You know? Unlimited. Unlimited. Absolutely. Without any limits, girl. No limits. No limits, you guys. No limits. So look, I want you guys to continue to follow all my guests on their social media because you know, they're doing a lot of amazing things that's going to inspire you, that's going to motivate you to live out your dreams as well. And don't forget, we're now on Roku. So make sure you go and add my channel, right? Melody Trice Television. Till next time, you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. Turn your body.